all right guys all right so as you can see this is different than what i was showing you guys later on i had a huge problem that i didn't film because i didn't know what was happening with the ups i realized that before as when you when i started filming the video as you can see was only this one single uh cable extension cable that i cut a bunch of times that was connected to the batteries uh, and it was very long it was maybe 10 or i mean 16 feet but when it was when it was when i connected and i put everything on the batteries and i turned it on it would just shut down it in it tells me it's full but it shuts down right away so i realized that the, uh, the cord can't be too long away from the from the what from the batteries because when everything shuts down when you move the plug or when the power outage happens this one draws so much power from the batteries so much like so quickly um from the tv if your tv's on you're playing playstation whatever your computer whatever is on it draws so much power and it needs to be like right away so what happened it, it can be too far and the wires that i was using this single wire before was too far and this wire would overheat when i touched it, it was so hot so every time it becomes hot it would just shut the it would just it would be like a short uh, short, uh, short circuit and it would just like shut down so i was like what can i do and now i'm like why is it overheating so much but i'm like this battery is so powerful drawing so much uh, and is and the ups drawing so much power to feed uh your devices and your tv and all that it, it cannot be interrupted by a short or small uh, copper wire. It would overheat, creating resistance. And if it create resistance, it would shut down because it's like short, it's not drawing enough power. So it, it would just shut down. So I'm like, oh my God. So I, I figured this out. I bundled a bunch of wires together, if you can see. This is all a bundle of wire just for the positive. And if you guys can see here, it's a huge copper wire here. And when I did that, I didn't have any more uh, shortage. You know, I was able to draw the power. It gave me about 40 minutes, I mean, 45 minutes for all the stuff that I had connected to it. And I did the same for this one as well, for the negative and the positive. I cut a bunch of wires all together. I created a huge copper wire and connected it. And then, and the problem stopped. And as you can see, I have this little thing right here, got it from Amazon, just to check the voltage. This one is only connected to the battery, straight from the bat, uh, straight to the batteries. As you can see, the little wire here. And then other uh, negative is connected to the other side. It just tells you the the voltage that is on the battery directly. And then you click it, it closes, you click it, it tells you it's 100%, and then you can check the voltage as well. I just wanna keep that a voltage because this one I can check the batteries right here. So yeah, make sure that your wire that you're using here is thick enough, the copper wires are thick enough because this draws a lot of power when the, when, when, the, when, the, when the power is out. And if it overheats, it would just shut down, acting like it doesn't work, but it works. It's just that the cup water you're using is just too short, and it will become very hot. It's not good for the, it's not good for your, um, for for your stuff. It's gonna, it's just not gonna work. So that's the idea. That's what I did. It works perfectly now, and with this, I'm able to get at least 45, uh, to 45 to 50 minutes with this. It's pretty good with all the stuff that I have connected, and. Um, is if I have a power outage and I, have, I want to use just the computer, I just shut the TV down, shut the PlayStation off, and I will get even a longer time to be able to use the computer and the internet all, all together. Uh, so I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, that's my, uh, that's how I did mine. You know there's a bunch of um, videos like this on uh, the internet, but this is how I did mine use uh, with the Cyber Power um, UPS. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys liked the video, please smash the like button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.